Okay, so I had the day off today, and thanks to some magic, I don't know fucking how I managed to do it, but I got my hands on an Xbox Series X, like legitimately, no scalpers, no nothing. I actually ordered it from Amazon. Um, I'd been waiting to order it directly from Microsoft because I'd rather order it directly from them, um, but it got to the point where the original 2013 day one xbox one that i have that i'm streaming from not really doing so great anymore uh it's showing its age and it doesn't help that it was in like alpha skip ahead in xbox insider getting updates like every other day so it's more than likely the hard drive is starting to feel a little bit of wear and tear so you know let's sure that's We'll, we'll figure that out uh, at some point. However, however, today, today we are doing the Xbox Series X. And that's about to go into the rack back behind me. Um, I might have the camera set up down there at some point. I don't know yet. But right now, all I really care about is getting this thing out of the box so I can see all the shiny goodness. So um, a couple of the crewmates have actually been able to join me today. So if you look up here, you can see that Lollipop and Elena are here. Hi. Hello. Um, so I'm super excited. Um, they're just kind of hanging out to keep me company, which, you know, I love. Um, so let's kind of get to this thing. Um... All right, so, what, hold on. I'm looking at my phone. Don't worry. Oh, look. As a side note, there's your, stuff. Uh, your frame rate is doing doing hella good with the lighting you got going on right now. That's because I have daylight coming in the window here, so it's not having to, to do all of the corrections for the low light. Um, Did daylight? Your Why did you install that? that? Did your LED strip fall down behind you? Yeah, it's falling down behind me. It's because I haven't fully mounted it yet. Like I'm, <laughs> there are clips that it came with to kind of like get it in place, and I haven't mounted it, mounted it yet because there's an adhesive strip that the the that's built into it, and I I'm kind of trying to test it out to see where I like it and how I like it set up. So it's there. It's like it's it's here. It's back there. I just haven't like actually set it up yet, and the clips. It's hanging out. Yeah, it's it's literally hanging out like right there in the middle. I mean, it's it's on the other side too, but whatever, it's not a big deal. Um, I'll stop distracting you from the main event now. I mean, let's, listen, it's fine, it's fine. Don't, no, you can't have my skin, okay? You can't have my skin, Buffalo Bill. That's not the way this works. But I will share it with you, and you can look at it, and I will come give you hugs with it next time I'm in Seattle. I love you. I miss you. Okay. Okay, first of all, this thing is fucking dense. Oh, Jesus, God. So, here's the box. Here's the back of the box. Ooh, pretty back of the box. Here's the side of the box. <laughs> with all of the technical bits that it are on here. And then here is the front of the box with all the green goodness. And then on the side, you can see the refrigerator. Hello, refrigerator. Okay, so... Xbox Series refrigerator. Xbox Series refrigerator. Okay, this thing, like, I, I fucking love this, this, this design. I don't care what anybody says. Say what you will about it. I want the fridge design forever, and I want the actual fridge that they made that looks like this. Don't care that it's a fridge. Like, I will put every snack ever in it. Um... Every crazy that ever has and ever will exist will go in that thing. Filled with nothing but the Greek yogurt ones. All right. Milk chocolate one. All right, fine. Milk chocolate ones, too. <laughs> Those can come, too. Those can come. <laughs> well, have a nap. Zen fires and missiles. Okay, so I like the way that they package these things because... Um, like, all the packaging that Microsoft does for their hardware now is, like, really slick. Um... Not only does it look nice from the outside, but they make it easy to get to on the inside. So if you look on the side up here in the corner, you can see there's like these easy pull tabs that they have. So it's 
it's not like ridiculous to try to like tear away the plastic tabs that they have sealing the box. Like it's actually fairly easy to like just peel and take it off. Like in fact, on this thing, just here and here is adhesive. Like these big strips in the middle are there's no adhesive on there. So on the corners and the one edge over here, just to kind of keep it in place, which is really nice. So if you come at it at an angle, it's uh it's not bad. It's not bad. So but there are several of the tabs, so I gotta let's see. Where's the there we go. This is so weird to me because one, it's daytime, and I haven't done a daytime broadcast in like fucking months. You know, back when like the holidays were around. Um, and because the TV, there's nothing on the TV behind me right now, or and in, in behind the camera. Like normally, the game's up there. Whatever game I'm playing is on the TV because I'll play it on the TV, which is routed through the capture card and whatever. And so like being on stream with nothing on the TV is it's kind of weird me out a little bit only because I'm just so used to it now. Okay, did I get all the tabbies? I think I did. Okay, so it looks like it looks like I have to set it down like this and open it up. I think yeah, okay, so I'll open it from this side. So it lifts up like this. Ooh! Ooh! Okay, all right, all right. All right, let's see if I can get this just right. It's so pretty. Crinkle, crinkle, crash. Don't you dare. Oh, it's, it's solidly in there. Don't no, you dare. It's solidly in there. Listen, if I, if I, if, if, if you cause me to crash because you make crashy noise, I know where you live. I will take four hundred four ninety nine ninety nine out of your ass. Good That's lord. Fine. This thing is like a frickin' brick. Holy shit. <gasps> Hefe! Fridge. What's up, buddy? Oh my god, Hefe's here. I love you, Hefe. I miss you, bud. Somewhere, I don't know. Ice bear good. More ice bear. Good. <gasps> Thank you for the follow, sir. I appreciate it. So, Hefe... Uh, Hefe is um, one of my buddies at Microsoft. Uh, he works over in um, MS Research, which, to, just to tell y'all, MS Research does, like, the most ridiculously cool shit. Like, they have all kinds of shit. They've got this garage where they do all kinds of maker projects. It's just incredible, the stuff that they do. But as his name implies, Hefe is... He's into security. He he does like a lot of um, information security stuff. He's 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 fantastic and he's awesome. I don't I can't find it. It might be in my other bag. Um, but uh, Hefe goes to DefCon, the annual hacker conference, and um, one of the hallmarks of DefCon is making your own badge for DefCon. Um, and Hefe does a lot of circuitry and stuff like hardware stuff anyway. Um, but like he, he made a badge one year that was, um, it's a reversible middle finger and it's hilarious and amazing. And I love it. And he gave it to me like, not the last time I saw him, but I think the time before, and it was, it's, I, I, I keep it in one of my bags. So I always have it on me. So it's, it's not in the backpack. It's in the, um, the little like messenger bag that I have. Okay. So I got. A getting started guide. Here, let me let me get the box kind of out of the way for a second. All right. Getting started guides because Zach doesn't know how to Xbox. I have no idea how. I have no idea how to Xbox. I've never done this before in my life. Okay, so this is nice. So it's got like, first of all, it's on like like some kind of like like thick Tyvek sheet thing that they do, like the plastic sheets. 
so it it lasts um so you pull it out of the box and then you can see there's like there's like instructions on it and shows you all the ports and stuff that are on this thing um so you connect the power usb blah 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 then you download the xbox app on your phone um and you can set up your console from there uh, let's see, after setup, insert two AA batteries, press and hold the Xbox button on the controller. Here to here to here, flare to flare. Um, yeah, okay. Really. Yeah, I mean, it's like, it's, see, it's all it's all in Swedish Chef. I will probably put this on the fridge. Actually, I might, I might hang it right back here, just in case I forget. Just like hang it like... Like off the hanging off the shelf or something, like off the edge of the Did shelf. Did you forget how to it Xbox? It should be right next to the the map of the Thousand Year Woods. It's the map of the Xbox. Oh, okay. I can put it next to the map of the, the Hundred Acre Wood. I can do that. Hundred Acre Woods, Thousand Year Woods. <laughs> Listen, you you've been playing a lot of WoW lately, so everything is is measured in like weird year names. <laughs> Sydney's like frame it. I, sh I I honestly don't tempt me. You know I will. You know I, you know I will do this shit. Okay, so let's let's take this thing out of the actual wrapping itself, out of its like soft patty. Oh my god, it's so pretty! Like, I thought this thing would be like a lot bulkier than it is. It's just really dense. Like yep. it's, huh? Even the Series S is like that. Like, is it really? Is it like really dense? It. It's not as heavy because, like, yours is like a rectangle, like perfect square. The Series S isn't quite yeah. like that. Yeah, there's a square. There's a square edge. It's of like it. half a fridge. And like, there's the. If you look in there, you can see the fan, like the big ass exhaust fan on the top of it. Um, and then on the bottom, it's got like a nice, nice rubber ring around the foot so that you can sit there and keep it stable. This really isn't as big as I thought it would be. Like, I thought this would be bigger. And I mean, like, judging by the size of the disc slot, I should have known that it wouldn't be as big as it. Because, like, the disc slot can't be that big. You know, like, discs are a standard size. But, like, it just, I don't know, it feels a lot smaller than I thought it would be. That's what she said. Um, but like, <laughs> it's all in how you use it and if the hardware's working. That's that's fair. It it does kind of look like this, like like cool little Xbox trophy, like 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 first place Xbox unboxing awards. Me, just right there on the front. I could get it etched on there. I won't do that though. So, this is really so, nice though. Like any good modern console where do you where do you store your fried chicken at the fried chicken goes right here you see so all the heat comes up from the top heat rises so you put your fried chicken right here and just like the kfc console this sounds like an awful idea <laughs> doesn't it sound terrible all right so in the disclaimer don't don't put chicken on your do, Series X. do not put <laughs> do not put food and or drinks on your console please for the love of all things sacred including the new console don't do that that's a really bad idea food and drinks and electronics don't mix very well just don't do it kids don't do it that's a bad idea all right so in the in the back of the box is the rest of the stuff Okay, and before I go through it, I'm going to take a very brief crazen break. And Good. food and consoles don't mix. So I'm gonna I'm gonna have my crazens now, and since it's Elena, I'm not even gonna ask. I know which crazens she would like <laughs> me to eat. They're the milk chocolate ones. Um, nom 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 nom. can't say they, they, they don't mix. I mean, the craisins look like they'd fit like perfectly in the top of that. That's the problem. <laughs> right there? Yeah. Shit, it does sit like... The craisin bag is perfectly made for the... Don't. Don't. <laughs> nope. Nope. It's a craisin shelf now. No. No, don't. <laughs> Why do you think I have a desk? You think I got a desk to work? Please. I got an L. I I put together an L shape in my desk so I could have room for craisins in the corner. 
No one puts craisins in the corner. <laughs> it's weird to hear you make a movie reference. Yeah, it's because I haven't seen it. <laughs> no, I know. I, I just eventually osmos them from pop culture. <laughs> just, mm, mm, this is a reference to something. I don't know what, but it sounds appropriate <laughs> right now. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> no food on the console. All right, no food on the console. Fine. All right, so we open up this little box in the corner, and we have the product and regulatory guide with the limited warranty and agreement, because EULA's, y'all, which I have actually already read, believe it or not. I read EULA's because I used to be an IT guy. I, I, I mean, I, I work in software, so I still technically kind of work in IT, but, you know, you know world's most expensive Crayson shelf, that's the trophy. Um, so we got a nice fancy ultra high speed HDMI cable. I will say this, um, the HDMI cables that they pack in with Xboxes, um, at least since the Xbox one, cause I know they didn't even start packing them in with the 360 until late in the, the cycle because it didn't have a built in HDMI port. That was back when they were still doing like component and composite video and shit like that. Um, but the, the cables that they pack in with the Xbox, they're actually really nice cables. And if, like, you look at this cable, like, if you look at the end here where the connector is, like, you know there's good circuitry in there to actually support everything that's going on inside this cable. The only thing that it doesn't really have is a gold-plated connector. But, I mean, I'm not really concerned about the connector as much because what you really care about are the pins on the inside. Because that's, on, on HDMI cables, that's where all the connectivity goes in are the pins and not the outside. But I like a gold-plated cable because it just feels fancier. That's all it is. Bling. Bling. And, of course, the power cable. This is the other thing that they started doing with the Siri, uh, the, the 1X and the 1S. Um, when the one, the Xbox One, the original Xbox One that came out in 2013 and below, when all of those came out, they had a separate power brick, which was okay so if like something blue like if power blue you had like a, a a power surge or whatever usually it would just blow the brick you would buy a new brick which is nice but most people have their stuff plugged in the surge protectors anyway so it it got to the point where it's now just like a bulky thing that you have it's just a pain in the ass so since the one x and the one s the power supplies have been built into the consoles. So this is it. This is all the power that you this is all the power that you have to plug in for it. it goes directly into the back of the console, which I think is a lovely design decision. I'm very very happy about that. Uh, let's see what we got here. What else we got? What else we got? We have the fancy new controller. Ooh. So, new remote. Um so, at this point, like, Microsoft has really dialed in the design of the controller. I mean, if you look at, this is my Xbox One controller, this is my Xbox Series X controller, and they are nearly identical, but if you look, there are, like, the tiniest little differences all around. Now, the biggest difference in this generation versus the previous is there's a share button in the middle here. So it makes it easier to, to go, hey, I want to share a screenshot or I want to share a clip. I think it's like press to screenshot, hold to video clip. Um, and then there's the, the D-pad's been a little bit redesigned here too to act more like the, the Elite controllers. Um, so instead of having like the four directional D-pad that's here, it also has the corners raised as well. Um, so that way it can it can like easily do both the you know both cardinal directions at the same time. Um, I'm gonna play with it, Lollipop. I know that you said that you were you know kind of questioning it because we come from a world of four directional D pads. I get that. Um, have you found that it's like have you have you adjusted to it any better since you first started messing with it? I mean, it's okay regardless. It's not a bad thing i think and just very much a I'm, I'm pulling a get off my lawn with it i think i know you are it is. i know you are and either way uh the game that i've played most on my xbox 
so far has been Banjo Kazooie, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> yeah, so so Lollipop goes and and thanks to my bad influence, um, he and Elena buy an Xbox Series S, okay? Because they're not going to do anything like like ridiculously high powered with it. They are getting it simply as a Game Pass machine, which it is fantastic for. If you're playing stuff that are Game Pass titles and you don't need anything that's got like, you know, like 120 frames a second in 4K or doing like like just wild ray tracing stuff, if you don't need any of that, the Series S is a great way to go. Plus, it's a couple hundred bucks cheaper. It's it's 300 versus the 500 for the X, okay? Um but the, uh, I had to kind of go for like I can't not like what kind of a fanboy would I be if I didn't go for it? Um, if I get if I didn't get the big one, it would just kind of be like, you know, why bother? So I had to. Plus, we, you don't have a gaming PC. We Plus, I don't stay a console behind. So if we do actually stay up with a console, it's always the lower end one. We'll wait for some like fancy pro to come out in like three years and then maybe grab that if we really find the need to upgrade yeah yeah and that's and if xbox you know xbox series <laughs> x pro 360 enterprise there edition hefe <laughs> <laughs> hefe remember remember windows.net server 2003 enterprise edition those were the good old days <laughs> oh man microsoft does their marketing teams are just the worst at naming shit they're just so bad. Um, like the Series X and Series S that people are definitely aren't confusing with the Xbox One X and One S. And I have to catch myself saying it every now and then because I'm just so used to saying One X and One S. It's Yeah, no, I, I can't. I When I was trying to find them on Amazon and places, I was talking to Chris. I'm like, what am I even looking for? I don't know. Not that Nintendo's any better with... The new 3DS. So I mean, I think it's just the thing that they don't know how to name anymore. All the, all the good namers have gone away. It's true. It's true. NTOP Service Pack Three, Service Pack One. <laughs> oh my God! Windows Server 2003 R2 like option pack or whatever it was. Oh God! All right, so we're gonna unwind the power cable here. I mean, and that's basically it for what's in the box. Like, we've got the nice HDMI cable, which I already have one connected to the TV that the current Xbox One is plugged into. Um, our paperwork, so that we know everything that's going on with it. The console itself, the controller, and a couple of batteries. Um, the other thing that I want to note is on the controller. You know, I, I said this was iterative, and this is there are a couple of things here that I really like that they've done in this generation versus uh, the previous generation. In some of these changes, they started putting in with the custom Xbox controllers that you can buy from the Xbox Design Lab, which I have one, and I this... I know when those are coming back. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm waiting for those to come back. So this is mine that I have here, and so you see I've got it in the green front... And the black back. So I really like the green and black. And I got it with this underscore on the bottom there. So I know it's a little blurry because of the camera. There we go. Yeah, that's... There we go. So I've had this for a few years now. And I love this controller. Um, and what's nice is the Design Lab controllers were the first ones to include Bluetooth as well as the Xbox wireless protocol. So this connects to my phone. Um or my PC, um, well, that's kind of cheating. Focus. Huh? Yeah, you got your oh, I am. Your camera's not focusing now. I am blurry. Hold on. Blurry? Blurry. Come on, blurry. <laughs> you should put to fix it. I know, right? Let's see if I can turn the camera off and back on again. Off. It's fine, everyone. It's like everyone's just looking at you in a dream sequence. I know, right? I need like, where's the plinko? Where's the plinko sound? Of course, plinko would be in Zach's dream sequence. There we go. There we go. Okay. Um, yeah, the camera. I'm still getting used to the new camera. It's. 
it's it's a fantastic camera and it's also very picky in particular anyway um so this controller was the first one that i got that could connect via bluetooth um now i say pc that's cheating because i have a surface book 2 and surface book 2 and above in like the newer surface products have xbox wireless built in so they actually support the native xbox controller protocol so even the original day one xbox one controller will work with it um but that's neither here nor there. Um, so this has a nice, like, really good texture on the controller. Did you notice that? Did y'all notice, like, the like the, the yeah. grip on this thing is really slick? I mean, not necessarily, like, figuratively, not literally. Yet. Is it a little too rough for you? It's just, it's different. So I'm, I'm waiting to see if the get off my lawn fades. <laughs> that's, no, that's understandable. It does take some getting used to. And that's why I'm, like, that's, the, it, you can kind of feel it. So, like. On the original Xbox One controller, it's smooth. It's got like the normal texture that the rest of the controller has. On the um, the Design Lab controllers, they put in a little bit of the texture. So for me, I've been like slowly working my way up to this. So I'm right. used to it. For you coming in, you know, not having had an Xbox, how long now? How long has Xbox uh, been a thing? So I you so. So that's like two thousand like seven. No, nine or ten. Well, well, yeah. when you got I yours, yeah. Two thousand ten was when I got a three sixty. Yeah. So I haven't had an Xbox really since for like eleven years. Okay, so so yeah, you're you you're used to like the the really smooth plastic, but like Hefe says, the pro grip, the like the grip that's on here is really good if you have sweaty hands like we do. Like I'm I'm a big fella. I don't know if you've noticed. But there's a lot of me. And also, I run hot. So at all times, I'm probably sweating or about to sweat. Unless it's like 60 degrees where I am or below. Um, so this is great for if you know for not losing your grip on the controller. Uh, the other thing that I really like is they have finally, finally updated the controllers to be USB-C as opposed to micro USB. So I'm really happy about that. Um, that's something that I've been waiting on for a while. Uh, so I can just about remove the one cable from my charging station over here on the desk. Um, I don't know why I live in Florida, okay? I'm I'm originally from southeast Georgia, which isn't much better than here. And I just picked a spot on the map that was semi-close to my parents in case something happened. So then I've been stuck here ever since. I'm working on it. It's fine. We'll figure it out. We'll I iterate on it. That's well, that's... Yeah. Yeah. There's snow literally everywhere else right now. It's kind of wild. I was going to say, like, unlike the rest of the literal world, there's yeah. no snow here. All right. So, I guess at this point, it's just uh, time to plug this thing in, yeah? Yep. Okay. So, here's what and I'm going to do. you know that he hasn't... And you're going to know that he hasn't actually unboxed this thing in and of itself because he's going to have updates. Yay. Oh, I've got I got a half a gig connection. It'll be fine. All right, let's see oh, if so I can... it might only take you 10 hours. It will not take me 10 hours. 69 hours. Nice. Oh, right, nice. Okay, let's see. I might be able to... So, I'm over here, okay? I'm over in this corner. Um, I don't have another camera, so the best that I can do is... Ikea sells this end table. This, like, $8 end table called the LAC end table. It is a little square end table that is literally four legs that you screw into a, a, a squared-off um, top, okay? I have two of them stacked on top of each other, and that is my, like, ghetto, like, rigged up network rack. But what's funny is the width between the legs is actually the width of a network rack. So network-mounted equipment will work in there. Here, Heve, I'll show you the back real quick so you can see the ports. 
So there the you go. The hard drives that go in that expansion slot are expensive as shit. Man. They are expensive as shit. But they're like they're like M two they're like M two PCIe cards. So like they're, like they're like they're yeah yeah and they're like terabytes. So it's, yeah. All right. So I need to find those. I think I might just set it up up top so I can look at it. I don't know. I might hold on. Let's see if I can get the other camera plugged in real quick. Um, there it is. Listen, this thing's not going to heat up my room any more than it is already when I'm in here. Trust me. I'm, I'm not going to have a noticeable difference. Plus, it's only driving 1080p. It's not going to drive 4K because the TV that I have this connected to or that I will have this connected to in a minute is only uh, 1080. We, uh, we definitely have already played Tetris Effect in 4K and oh my god. Oh, so I can, pretty. I can imagine how pretty that is. Okay, so let's see. Let's swap cameras for just a second. Hi. Okay. So if you look over here, so this is my network rack. Okay. So you can see I've got, I'll turn off the light for a second. So there's the one X or the series X. See, damn it. There's the series X on top with my router, it's external hard drive and the switch. Then down below, there's my uh, network power rack. And then below that, is where the existing Xbox One is now. And it's I know it's impossible to see because it's on that rack shelf. I might end up moving that shelf down and putting the, um, the Series X in there sideways, but I don't know yet. Um, but again, this is, this, is my, this is my network rack. So there's like other equipment down there. Like that's my HDMI switch box with the lights on and all the cabling and shit that I've got to redo at some point because it's not great so it is what it is it's fine it'll it works for now we'll 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 iterate, iterate on, it. on it we'll iterate on it it's fine okay so now that i've got that squared away there we go let's see okay uh, I'm gonna do swap Everyone, power. Please control yourself. Oh my, control control. oh my god! Oh my god! Okay. All right. So here's. Holy shit! Okay. Tab. Oh my god! Jesus Christ! Tab brought literally everyone. Everyone. All right. So. More ice bear. More good. Show them the pretty. All right. So. Here's the pretty. You caught me just in time because I was about to plug it in. So here's the pretty. It is so fucking dense. It's so heavy. Holy God, it's heavy and dense. But it's so pretty. Look at the green. Look at the green stuff. There's green stuff. Oh, God. It's so heavy, though. Um, all right. All right, so give me one second, because now, first of all, do do do. So shout out to Tabs. Thank you, thank you so much for the raid. Um, let me plug this in, and I will come back and do my spiel. I will be right back. I have to go plug it in on the stuff behind the camera. Behind the scenes. While he's gone, he can't hear us, so we can shit talk him. I don't think that's true. In <laughs> fact, I don't think that's true at all. We can still shit. I mean, we can shit talk him when he can hear us. Yeah, I know. When do you not? <laughs> when I'm sleeping. I don't know. I would imagine you also shit talk me in your sleep, especially if it's immediately after a show. Yeah, she 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 has some choice. 
words about you. Like, Zach is awesome, and ah. please subscribe to his channel and other things. Hit that like, smash, and subscribe button. Ice bear yeah, good. I don't say that in my More sleep. ice bear. More good. Ooh. Oh my god. I'm gonna lose my mind here in a second. Um, I was okay. gonna say, Zach thanks you for the follow, even if he's not thanking you. I really, you I really do. Thank y'all so much, so, so much. More ice bear. More good. Ah. And as he's plugging things in, you can see his bathrobe collection behind nice, very good. him. That's true. That's the, that's okay. So the bathrobe collection—that's like my 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 crowning beautiful everything back there. I've been working on that collection for several years. The the like the crown jewel of which is the one in the middle, the navy blue and white one with the milkman embroidered on it. That's the. Oh, I really like your your fancy game one. Like the game printed your new one the new one is really nice too that's so my partner sabrina her mom actually made me that one and that's she like she made it like with like she 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 fucking sewed the fabric together things i am not capable of you and me both friend you and me both All right, let's see. So I'm back behind the... It's tough because I can't see the power. Because I'm like back here in the network rack and... There's just... I, there's like just random noises happening behind behind the camera. And y'all can kind of hear it in the background. And I can't even see chat because I'm just back here. That's a fine. You're getting follows and love. So oh, thank y'all. Thank y'all so much. Tabs, you're ridiculous, and I love you. Don't worry, we're here. We'll tell you if anything like crazy happens in chat. That's and fair. We'll just respond ourselves. I gotta. I, That's what you hired us for? I gotta. I gotta mod y'all at some point. All right, I'm gonna plug in temporary power for now, just so we can get this this show on the road. I will move the power later. All right. Uh, and one of the wheels has fallen off of my chair. This is this is fantastic. The wheels are falling off of the stream. The wheels are falling off of the chair. So today, Zach unboxed the Xbox, and it is so dense it destroys his chair wheels. Destroys me, that's for sure. This is amazing. All right, let's Would see. Would you say that you got wrecked? It's Xbox, more like Rex box, am I right? Ah. Ah. Okay. All right. Let's see. Let me make sure the TV is on so I can watch this. And we are going to do that. Okay, let's turn it on. Here we go. That's right. Oh, okay. So Heavy brings up a good point because I know, like, with the Surface stuff, it is too. Um, but like most, if not all, of Microsoft's packaging is either compostable or recyclable. So like most of the cardboard and paperboard and stuff like that is compostable, and then any plastic stuff that they do include is recyclable. So like really impressive stuff there. Okay, so let's go set this thing up with the app real quick. So I've never set up an Xbox through the app before, which is pretty great. Um, doo -doo -doo. 
So the Xbox app, which is available on, as you can see, the App Store or Google Play, shows you, you know, what you recently played, your friends that are online, stuff like that. And then you can go to my library, which will show you your consoles and games and captures and all that stuff. And there's a button right there in the middle to set up a new console, which is what we are going to do right now. So set it up. Let's see, there's the code on the TV. It's gonna do it on my network. Okay, yep. And I use the beta version of the app because live life on the edge, y'all. Uh, okay, ooh, oh, oh. Oh, okay. Sure, yeah, yeah. Oh, it provides its own like direct Wi-Fi connection to do the setup, which is pretty slick. Okay. All right, so now it's connected which is neat, all right. So we confirm our language and our location, which is US and English, all right. And then we'll do a quick update of the console. So while it's doing the update, I get to continue on my phone and do the other options. So things like um, telling I want to do instant on so that the console is always in standby, not fully powered off. Uh, keep my games and apps up to date, so automatic updates are on. Let's see, remote features. So with re when remote features are turned on, your phone can communicate with your console anytime you want to do things like installing new games remotely to your console, which I love doing, using Xbox Remote Play to play your console games on your phone. And this is what we were talking about earlier, where you can connect your controller via Bluetooth to your phone. Um, you can do that specifically to play games from your console using remote play or using um, via the cloud uh, with Game Pass. And then turn on and, and control your console. So there's a, a built-in remote uh, that I'll show you in just a minute. So we'll turn those on. All right, let's go ahead and get me signed in. Let's see. No barriers, because I'm the only one that uses this console. Enable instant sign-in, absolutely. Then there's the stuff about asking for diagnostic data, privacy, things like that. I always opt into this stuff because I really like providing that kind of extra feedback to Microsoft. Again, it kind of comes with the territory of being a fanboy, but this is just what I do. Um, I, I, I provide them with a lot of diagnostic data. I'm Again, I'm, I, I kind of come from an IT background, so I, I do that, a lot of that stuff by default. Um, I will send optional data as I do, understanding that they do send data to with publishers. That happens. And we're going to call this Xbox the Zunder Series X. Let's see. Okay. Which apps do I want on my console? Let's see. All the apps that I own here. Let's see. Uh, Twitch, obviously. And so Hulu. Because I got to watch my TV during the day. What else we got here? Do a few others, too. Just real quick. Yeah, that'll work for now. Okay. All right, so that's done. Um, let's copy my settings from the old console because I like that. That's really nice. So on this list, it'll actually show you the previous consoles that you had set up and we can switch back while the, uh, while that's doing its thing. So it'll show me the list of my other consoles that I have and say, hey, we've backed up your settings on these consoles. Would you like to pull the settings from one of those? So things like your profile color, how you have the guide set up as far as the order of the different blades, um, stuff like that, so that you have those settings already ready to go. So I'm gonna copy the settings from the Xbox that I just disconnected. This will not be used by kids. So we're not gonna do any parental controls. And that should be about it. So 
save you from yourself, parental controls? No, no one wants to save me from myself. But listen, this is why I have descri- I described my tr- my stream earlier today. I am not so much a streamer as I am a bear with a camera and without adult supervision. That's what this stream is. I thought that's what we were here for. Are you claiming to be an adult? We are adults. Yes. That's. I have always claimed to be an adult. That's a bold assumption. I didn't say I was the adultiest adult, but I'm still an adult. All right. Well, that's that's okay. Fair point. Fair point. All right. So we've done the setup through the app while it's doing the updates, which the updates are almost done. It looks like, which is pretty nifty. Oh, I don't think there will be a second update. I think this came from this. This had the newer update from the factory because this one just got built uh, a month ago. The manufacture date on this is actually January. So the one we got didn't take that long to update. So I was pretty impressed. All right, controllers already connected. Checking for our settings. This is this is actually really smooth. And for those of you who have an Xbox One, an Xbox One X, or a One S, any of those, um, if you if you've played one of those before, this is an incredibly familiar experience. This is the same first time setup that you do with that from this point. Um, you just notice that it has the newer controller with the share button in the middle because it re- it recognizes that it's a newer controller. We hit A. Let's update our controller. Okay. So we update the firmware on that real quick, so no big deal. Um, but yeah, this is this is the same kind of stuff that you go through with any Xbox setup um, from the Xbox One forward. There's just like little things here and there. So like setting up a new console, this is you know this is a new experience, um, and it's honestly that was this may be the fastest I've set up a new console. This is great. I love this. All right, so while this is updating, let me finally get back into my spiel. Um, so, hi everyone, welcome in. I'm Zunderscore, um, or you can just call me Bear. Everybody calls me Bear. Um, I've been streaming on Twitch for about three and a half months now, maybe not even that long. Um, I do this as a hobby right now. Um, who knows how long that'll last. Um Fingers crossed that I get to do this more often. Um, I do this three nights a week right now. So um, typically I am on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday nights starting at 7.30 p.m. Eastern time. Um, So I'm in the Eastern time zone. I'm actually located in Florida. Uh, So while it's cold everywhere else, it's warm as shit here. Um, I, again, I I do this stuff pretty casually. um, So I am by no means a pro gamer. Um, I spend a lot of my time playing Minecraft um, with some of these folks up here, uh, like Elena and Lollipop. We also have Ocarina of Tom. So for those of you who have come in from Tab's chat, from Tab's stream, you know Tom. Um, so Tom is actually my best friend, and he comes and hangs out with us every every now and again as he can. Um, usually he's on the, the Monday and Friday streams. Um, every once in a while he'll make it on Sunday as well. Um, but yeah, that's, that's what we're doing right now. Um, so Minecraft is, is primarily what I've been streaming the last month and a half, almost two months now. Um, I guess, well, I guess it's been closer to a month and a half. Uh, so yeah, this is, this is kind of what we do. It's, it's, we have a lot of fun. The, the crew hangs out and tells me why Java is better than bedrock and, they moan and piss about bedrock and how the mechanics are different and not as good or whatever. And so much better. that's about it. I have a milk stein. Yes, this is there's actually milk in this milk stein. It's hard to see, but there you go. And I have a collection of craisins. By God, I have so many craisins. This is half of them. So, yeah. I told you you'd figure out the craisins thing, and now you know. And... Elena has redeemed the Crazen Break. And beca- gave me a power. I'm going to use it. I know. That's okay. Now it cools down for the next half an hour. So because she redeemed it, I know exactly which flavor she wants me to eat. It's the milk chocolate ones. It's always the milk chocolate ones. It's always the milk chocolate ones with you. Chocolate mm. is good. Chocolate is love. Chocolate is light. Mm. 
Chocolate is delicious. What do we got? Some Escher stairs going on here? Yeah, I think so. No, actually, no. Those look like just regular stairs. Yeah, I know, but they're off in space, which leads me to believe there will be Escher stairs somewhere nearby. That's a fair point. All right, let's go home. Why would you go to your home? So, uh, yeah. This looks exactly like my, my Xbox One that I have in here. But it's shinier and prettier, and the frame rate's going to be way better. So let's go to my games and apps. Did we ever figure out if this thing can do ray tracing? It can, but um, there's there are some things about it. Okay, so while I'm installing while I'm installing Minecraft, and we're going to give that a test run in a second, let's talk about ray tracing on the Xbox Series X. So Xbox Series X uses one of the newer AMD graphics chipsets, which supports ray tracing. However, it is not RTX. It is not the same thing as RTX. So RTX is NVIDIA's ray tracing technology. Minecraft currently takes advantage of ray tracing via RTX. Uh. Microsoft... Right, so we can't do ray tracing in Minecraft yet, uh, because that's just the way it is. That's it. It it's Minecraft's not built for it yet. Um, Microsoft has a more like a superset of ray tracing called what's called DirectX Ultimate. So DirectX is Microsoft's graphics technology. It's what they use for three D rendering graphics. Um, so games on Windows a lot of times take advantage of DirectX. The Xboxes, that's the X in Xbox, was originally, it was called the Direct Xbox because it's this, you know, gaming graphics machine. Um, so, now you know. Uh, so, Minecraft is, I cannot imagine that they won't have something that takes it, or they won't built in DirectX Ultimate support for ray tracing in Minecraft at some point, considering this is micro one of Microsoft's like most pow like, or popular titles, and it looks really damn good in it. Um, but it's just a matter of when they get around to it. Um, there's no schedule for it yet. If you go to Minecraft's website, they're actually, they actually have a frequently asked question about it. Hey, you know, when are you going to support ray tracing on the Series X? And they're like, we don't have anything to say at this time. Which means that they're probably working on it, but who knows when. Soon TM is what that means. Soon TM is exactly what that means. Um, th that's it. That's, that's about all there is to it. Look at that. The one game I have installed and then all of, like the system apps and stuff. Look, it's Twitch. Um, let's see. I wonder... All right. So let's go back here. I want to see if there are any games. Games. Tunes. Dudes. Characters. So I, I can't pick on him too much because he installed Banjo Kazooie. You want to know the first game I picked up and played? What's the first Plants game? Versus Plants vs. Zombies. The original Plants vs. Zombies, hmm. not any of the, the later crap. The original is good. I like the original. Um, so, I don't know when the next Minecon is going to be because, because COVID, yeah, they've, let me see when they're going to do the next one. Chris and I's counter is up to 2072 when things will resume to normal again. Yeah. Let's see. Did they try doing like a virtual Minecon? They, 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 like the 2019 one was mostly virtual. Um, 
but they do it like they call it like Minecraft Live now. So I don't think they call it Minecon anymore. Um, but for those of you who know better, please please correct me if I'm mistaken. Um, let's see. I want to look and see what ray tracing games are available. Well, it doesn't look it doesn't look like we have anything just yet. Let me see. I don't think many games take advantage of ray tracing right now anyway. No, not yet. Forza 8 Forza. will, but Forza 8's not due until probably this month or next. Yeah, so we may not have any ray tracing games just yet. But I'm checking a couple of sources that I, I, I look at pretty regularly. Yeah, it doesn't look like we have any that are out yet. That's fair. Cutting edge technology doesn't always have a lot of stuff with it yet. No, no, and that's 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 kind of the way it works. You know, it's the the console comes out, and I mean, I know that they've had the dev kits for like months before release, but the, when you're transitioning from traditional graphics, which we call raster graphics, where it builds the scene frame by frame like that and, and basically guesses where the lights are supposed to be and how it's supposed to be shaded, and you move to something like ray tracing, which actually knows exactly where the light is because it traces the ray of the light as it bounces off of objects in the world, um, that is a vast difference of how that is, is handled for in code a lot of times. So it, it will take a while to do that kind of stuff. Let's see. I know in the network I'm connected. Man, this man, this new D-pad feels like really responsive though. I like it a lot. Let's see. We didn't hear you, Chris. Cuz I was eating a cookie, so I muted myself. Oh, cookie, yes. Oh. Um, nom 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 nom. Cookie. Yeah, I made I, him sugar cookies for Valentine's Day. Oh, that's very nice. I like sugar cookies. I like chocolate chips too. Um, yeah, Hefe, I'm 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 betting that summer is probably gonna be like when we start seeing like the big like the big releases, especially like for existing games that are gonna get updated. Um, I'm really excited to see how some of this works with what's what Microsoft calls smart delivery, which is essentially their way of taking the core game and then depending on which console version you're on, um, adding the updates to it so it's it's something that they they i believe it's built similar to how windows update works so windows update knows what stuff you currently have and what stuff that you can have on your machine and it builds your updates and it kind of gives you the update files based on that smart delivery works sim in a very similar way so for the series x and series s the console will say, hey, I am this console. Give me, you know, the additional stuff that I can have to make it even prettier and better and, and, and all that stuff. And so when you download the games, you'll get those additional things for your souped up consoles, basically. I am console, hear me roar. Yeah, pretty much. All right, let's go into... Now, now that we've got a we've got a game in here, let's give this thing a shot and see how how much better the frame rate is. So one of the things that I've been having trouble with playing Minecraft normally on my Xbox One is I have a very redstone heavy contraption um, at our home base, and we call it the Sortomatic Five Thousand, or sometimes the Sorty Majig. Hey. Scale that down. Yeah, that's right. Um, but it is a very redstone-heavy contraption, which means that my frame rate starts to drop on the original Xbox One because, you know, it's... 
You want to see what? See what the TVs look like. TVs look like because you were having real problems there too. I was. I really was. So let's jump in here real quick. Joining realm. Building terrain. Also, this thing has this, the, the holy mackerel. All right. Well, this is smooth. Whoa. Okay, normally this is where it starts to get like a little, a little janky for me. This is, this is buttery. This is buttery smooth, and this is never like this for me. This is great. Well, um, hey crew, I think I, f I think I solved my frame rate issues. I think you did. I sure did. did you just throw more hardware at it. I sure did. I threw all of the hardware at it. <laughs> I threw all of the hardware they have. <laughs> yeah, like here. You didn't build a gaming rig. Here, right here. This is this would normally drop down to somewhere in the in the neighborhood of like ten to fifteen frames a second. And this is just, this is fantastic. This is butter. This is great. Because from here, like, we're staring down all of the redstone going all the way back, which I have. This is like three bays of this, this sort of matic, which I am going to eventually redo, but also right now that takes care of that. Um, oh, Mo's in the realm. <laughs> no one tell Mo that we know that she's here. Hey, wait, I have mail. Son of a bitch. All right. Uh, ooh, let's go upstairs real quick. Do you not have chat on? Huh? I'm not seeing the chat on your stream. In game? In Minecraft. Yeah. Uh, maybe I don't. Let me see real quick. Gosh. Yeah, you and Tom have uh, always nope. never really seen what's going on in chat. Uh, maybe it's because we're s maybe it's because I'm so far away from y'all. I don't think so, because Mo's in the Nether and I'm out at Sea World, and Mo and I are talking. Well, we're talking. Huh. I wonder. I think Chris has always seen what I was saying. Let's see if there's anything about that. No, no. I don't know. Maybe it's just something. I mean, it doesn't matter. I just was. I mean. Yeah, I don't know. It's weird. All right, so let's go down to our video settings and see how far out we can do render distance. Oh, yeah. We're doing 24 chunks, and we're doing all the anti-aliasing. Oh, yeah. Hmm. That's so pretty. Like, I just love being able to come up to the tower and see the Temple of Time from here. Oh. Time. Hey, what's... What's that? That is, uh, the Warped Tree Tour. Oh. Okay. Chris's new home. Oh, I see. I see. Now that he's finished the Temple of Time, he has another project that he's going to be working on. Well, he's helping me get materials for my ginormous, ginormous project. <laughs> I am helping. Oh, yeah. There, I saw one pop up down there. This is great. Let's. This is. This is really pretty. All right. So let's let's make our way downtown. Walking fast. That's right. Bubbles pass. Uh, let's go out this way. Blub, 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 blub. Blub, 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 blub. Yeah, it, what sucks is because this doesn't use RTX, this option way down here, you can see the ray tracing is down there, but you can't turn it on because it just doesn't support it. 
Ooh, I see Lollipop's name tag. Way out there. I'm sorry, what did you say, Elena? I said it's down there, taunting you. Yeah. And this is where you would be retracing. And this is... If you had one. If I had one. If I had ray tracing, I'd be ray tracing by now. If you had a million ray trace. <gasps> Mo. Mo was trying to play on the Switch, and she's she's like, "How do you?" She's like, "How does anyone play with a controller?" And she like glares over at me. It's like, like a professional, I guess. I don't know. That's how I play with a controller. Mm-hmm. Listen, get it. Just just get on my level. Oh, we need our keyboard and our mouse with all of our fancy macros and 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 fast switching and yada yada yada. Yeah, bunch of amateurs. It's okay, Mo. I feel the same way when I try to play with the control. Heck, I feel the same way when I try <laughs> to try. play on a non-wide screen because I'm like spinning around way too fast because I'm used to a much smaller screen or a much bigger screen section. So I'm just like whipping my con- my mouse around, and it's it's no good. It's no bueno. I got some stuff, bouncy, bouncy. Yeah, this thing is this thing is buttery smooth. This is great. Here, I'm just gonna throw this stuff at you that I picked up because I don't I don't want it, and I imagine you don't want me to have it. But love you, bye. He is just jealous, Mo. He is he is jealous of the the better Java and the. The buttery smooth of rigs. I am incredibly happy playing here, right here. <laughs> and I paid five hundred dollars for this rig that can do ray tracing, so But I can't do Minecraft ray tracing. Yet. Yet. Soon TM is when it'll be able to do Minecraft ray tracing. Soon TM. This is nice though, like my frame rate issues are gone. Which is what I would expect from a console that's, you know, literally seven years newer um, with the kind of hardware that's packed into this thing. But this is good. This is really good. All right. So then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pop out here. I want to grab something else that's a little more heavy on graphics. So let's go through. Cough. Do maternal cough, cough, cough. Uh. All right, let's see. <laughs> More graphics intensive, you mean Banjo Kazooie? Oh, it's that's 57 gigs. I yeah, well, I mean, I guess they're all going to be, aren't they? Well, that's just battle mode, it looks like. I don't know. I mean, it's listen, it's better than what I've got, which is nothing as far as Doom Eternal's concerned. Uh, let's Doom see. It's not going to be graphically heavy as much as I want to see you flail around on a dwarf. Um, you know what would be pretty, really pretty, and Master Chief Collection is going to be huge. Halo Wars, that won't look as good. Uh, I wonder if I have, huh, let's come down here a little bit. Oh, Minecraft Dungeons is so fun. If you haven't played Minecraft Dungeons and you like, like Diablo style games and you like Minecraft, Minecraft Dungeons is the way to go. It's it's really fun. Like, it's really fun. I love it. I, I, I'm not selling me on games. No. I don't have enough time. It's listen, it's it's part of it's part of Game Pass. These are part of the services you provide? Also, yes. Alright, let's 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 see if I can go up and filter. Filter by Optimized. Here we go. All right. So here's the stuff that's optimized for Series X and S. Um, that's 138 gigs. Not today, friends. Ooh, Ori. Ori's gorgeous. Ori is gorgeous, and I haven't played it yet. No Man's Sky is also gorgeous. Tetris Effect. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. How bad is so, Tetris Effect on the flashy lights? Uh, it's, yeah. Okay. I don't. I. Yeah. I don't. I don't want to do too many flashy lights because I don't want to. I. I don't want to give anybody on stream the the yeah the bad stuff. No. I don't. That's I don't want to totally do that. Fair. Play it on your own though because it's freaking gorgeous. 
All right. Well, let's see. It says Horizon 4 is optimized, but that's 80 gigs. I want something a little bit smaller that I can do. Ori smaller? Ori is 6 gigs. That's not bad. No Man's Sky is 11. Um, yeah, all right. Let's do Ori. You don't want your stream to be download the, uh, the stream edition? Yeah. All right. Let's go to the queue. And we'll give that a few minutes. So yeah, this is this is nice though. I mean, this is it, like this is this is how I had my everything set up. It only took me a couple of minutes to set everything up via the app, which is really nice. This is this is fantastic. Like I'm I'm really happy with this. Let me make sure my capture settings are up to a minute because I I want to capture a minute of of gameplay. Let's do... Yeah, as someone who's a bit of a Minecraft cynic, or not a Minecraft, Microsoft cynic, I'm actually kind of impressed. It's nice, isn't it? Let me see something real quick. So, I want to test how this button works, because I want to make sure the button, I'm, I'm used to how the button is, is... So... So if you press the, the, the capture button, it'll capture a screenshot. Oh, and you hold it for a second and it'll pull the clip. That's, that's beautiful. Holy shit. That, you know, I didn't think that one button would make a difference, but oh my God, I already love it. I'm already a fan. That's, that's nice. Okay, Ori's a little over halfway done. And so this captured, I know it's only 13 seconds, but we don't need that clip. And we don't need this one either. This is just my test of the button. This has been a test, only a test. Only a test. If this had been an actual clip, you would have received further instructions on how to share it or seen it on my social media, which by the way, for those of you who don't follow me on social media, there's my Twitter and my Instagram. My Instagram is almost exclusively food, but my Twitter, that's where the fun stuff is, especially all of my ridiculous ramblings about life. So come hang out on me with Twitter, or come hang out with me on Twitter, won't you? Uh, yeah, this was this was really painless. Like I'm I'm very, very happy with this. Aw, meetings, boo. Oh, you have to work today, Mo? Oh, have fun in your meeting. I'll see you in a little Design bit. Design cool stuff. Mo always makes all the cool stuff. This is true. Mm, okay, yeah, this is... Like, from the system standpoint, I don't know, really notice much of a difference, just because the system UI is, is really nice, but... All right, let's see. I wonder what kind of frame rates I'm going. Well, that's already beautiful. That feels like sixty. Like I'm, I'm looking at it. it feels like sixty frames a second. I wouldn't know. I'm not the person to ask. I just care how pretty it looks. I care about color. I like color as well. Frame rate over 60 is pointless for me, and honestly, between 30 and 60 can sometimes be pointless for me. Yeah, I'm, I'm beyond 60. I'm the same way. I don't care. Like, I'm. This is like you can't see how smooth that is, and I'm like, it looks like a mouse cursor. Oh wow! Tell you. Look at that though. That looks nice. Look how pretty. I'm gonna put this on the, our OLED TV in the living room. Mm. I can't play flat farmer, so I'm gonna have to make someone play it for me. Wow, this is pretty. At 4K. I wish I could do a side by side, Hefe. I don't have the hardware to do a side by side. Oh, what? Damn it! What did it say? 120 FPS support not detected. Or he will something 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 something. 
Hold on, I got a clip. He, cli he clipped it just so that he could read the text. That's right. When your hard drive is too good so that the error message goes away too fast. I pushed the button, though. It was my fault. I should... Oh. Read first, then push button. Yeah. It's probably going to say that my display doesn't support 120 frames per second. Likely. I saw at 120 FPS support not detected. I didn't catch the rest of it. Okay, where are we at? Ori is set to run super, in super sampled 6K at 60 frames per second. Wow. Holy shit. So it runs at 4K 120 FPS. Wow. Can our TV do that, Chris? Can our what? TV do that? Super sampled That's 6K? That's crazy. No, the 4K Hi. 120. Sure. Yeah. Oh. Did you love those? Yeah, I thought you might. I thought you liked the fins. So I had to, on the way home, I had lunch with Sabrina today. And on the way home, um, I stopped by to see if they had any of the Valentine's candy left over because she really likes the Reese's Hearts. And they didn't have any. Aww. I had to get batteries too anyway. But they didn't have any. So I'm like, I got you something else. She's like, what? I'm like, you'll see. So I got her some of the, the dark chocolate Reese's Thins. And she really likes those. So. Oh. Yeah, she's making she's making her very happy snacky face. Mm -hmm. That's her happy Reese's snack hearts face. Are good, but the best ones mm -hmm. are Reese's eggs. Oh, see now, Sabrina doesn't like the Reese's eggs because they have the 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 peanut butter ratio is is too high. She doesn't like that there's too much peanut butter in those. Huh. I found the eggs to be the perfect ratio, in my opinion. And she says also the Christmas tree turds are the same way. Yeah. Huh. I, we we found that Chris doesn't like like the bigger Reese's. Like when you get like a like a whole hand size hearts, those get out of uh, proportion. But the eggs are our favorites. I'm yeah. I got. I might move the. I, I was saying I might move the shelf down, and put it on the shelf because you can tilt. You can turn it sideways. But it's like way too tall to fit on the shelf anyway. So I'm gonna leave it there for now. I mean, why not? I'll look at it. I, I agree. When you spend 500 goddamn dollars on something, you should stare at it a while. Yeah, Andrea said it looks like a trophy. So I was thinking about getting it etched. I'm not going to actually do that, but but it is pretty, isn't it? If you got a cricket, we could, we could put vinyl on it. We'll talk about that later. Okay. Love you. Whoa. This is beautiful. Like this is, this is incredibly smooth. And like the best part is, I can't even take advantage of it. Like it's this this TV only does 1080p, but like I can see the the frame rate is just gorgeous here. And I've never played any of the Ori games, and I I really should. Oh, it's so pretty. Whoa. Yeah, Hefe, you should you should get this. Uh, you have Game Pass, don't you? If you don't, you should pick it up. And for you, you get you get that that minuscule discount out of the company store because you're an employee, so this is beautiful. Oh, that's a hell of a transition. Wow, look at this. Yeah, this is just... This is so gorgeous. I need to play... I need to play one of these one night. Oh, look at the baby. Uh... This is yeah this is really this is stunning. I'm I'm totally in love with this. 
Let me make sure the capture card settings are all turned up to. Yeah, okay, it's it's pulling the full 60, which is nice. Okay, so since I'm unfamiliar, is this Ori? Or am I playing as Ori? I'm not sure. Okay. I've just heard amazing things. I'm going to guess yes. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. This I, is... I could be wrong. All I know is that that baby owl is named Koo and it's adorable. It is super cute. Okay, thank okay. you, Colsair. All right, that's I thought so, but I just I just wanted to make sure because I'm I'm not familiar with the series other than the fact that it is just visually stunning, like Fa said. Like this is just beautiful. Wow, I'm. Look at the baby. Yeah, you did it. Yay. Wow. Yeah, this is nice. Okay, so this is good. This is so we know the frame rate issues with Minecraft are solved. Um Maybe, maybe I honestly, maybe I was the one contributing to a lot of the lag too because of the console, because of the processing power. I have seen that's kind of been one of my theories. Like, I didn't ever want to make you feel bad about it. I don't feel bad. I it's did just it was more that when you were around. So, I'm wondering if it's just kind of one of the trying to keep up with the least common denominator things. Yep. And that could, that could very well be what it is. So, that's all right. And we'll find out later tonight. Um, Look at this. Oh my god, this is beautiful. Yeah, well... You know, Hefe, you talk about having so much stuff in your queue. This is now in my queue, because this... I mean, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna continue on this for, for very long, just because this is, you know... I want to make sure everything's set up and good and everything. Um, but speaking of queues... The Stardew Valley update just hit consoles. And goddamn if I'm not going to play that again. But we have multiplayer. Cross -play. Yeah, but it, there's not cross-play between PC and Xbox. Oh, I believe I know. Like our S could probably cross-play with you. So I might be able to. Yeah, you could. Xbox consoles, Xbox One and above all intermingle, which is nice. But then again, you know... Always more my thing anyways than Chris's, so... Yeah. This game is adorable. This game is just amazing, like, in every way. And I'm just, like... Really, I'm 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 still here just for the graphics right now. Like the story aside, which is a beautiful story so far. That's one of the things that I love is when you can tell a story without like with so few words. When you can tell a story just visually like this, like that is masterful storytelling. This is how you tell a story. Like, that's just, yeah, this is great. Um, okay, so I'm not going to stick around this too much longer. Oh. All right, so this is, yeah, I think we're done here. We'll come back to it. Um Oh, the music! I, like I can already tell the music is going to be something like special, and I'm I get really attached to video game music myself, Colsair. But I love the music from Final Fantasy VI. Like that's 
that's one of the games that still gets me to this day. Like that, the opera in that game, like there's a full on opera in a super NES game and it's just blows my mind. Um, so, well, I'm very happy with all of this. Um, I will move the power cord around and clean up some things in the meantime before tonight's stream. However, uh, three hours from now, um, we are going to get back into um, Minecraft. So the crew will join me. Um, Elena will be here. Lollipop will be here. And it's Monday. So mo more than likely, Tom will be here. Ocarina of Tom will be here. Um, be sure to follow the channel so that you get notified when we go live. We will do that at 7.30 Eastern Time tonight. So again, three hours from now, um, we will be back in Minecraft playing Minecraft Bedrock. Um, it's going to be a really fun time as it always is. Um, I love playing with the crew. Uh, it's just, it's a great time. Um, so I hope to see you all then. Um, Hefe, thanks so much for joining, bud. I, I, I miss you. Um, Hefe is one of my IRL friends that I met via Twitter. It's I'm sure you get it. Um, but thank you all again for joining. Thank you so much to Tabs for that raid. That was just, that was incredible. And I am still just floored and, and, and flushed from that. Like I, I, I still haven't kind of caught my breath from that. Um, but uh, hopefully I'll see you all in about three hours. So join us tonight for Minecraft Monday. It's going to be a really fun time. I think you'll enjoy it. Um, and until then, y'all be safe and see you in just a little bit.